All right, what's happening, guys? It's Russell Warhe, aka Russell, aka the Necklace Wonder. So on Instagram, a couple of pictures back, I decided I was gonna do a Q and A. So I wanted you guys to ask questions about whatever, and I found that one of the most common questions was that question asking me, "Have I dropped out of college? Do I still go to school? What did I study? Did I graduate?" Um, and I get this question a lot, like whether it's in my YouTube videos or sometimes I'll post on Instagram, I'll just get that random question, did I drop out of school? So I have never ever addressed this question out in public or through social media for the strict fact that uh, I made a decision. I made a decision like about almost, not a year ago, but like, yeah, yeah, about a year ago now. I made a decision that I was going to put a slight hold on my college education. And I didn't want to kind of wrongly influence people that had watched or that were watching my channel. I didn't want people to like. I didn't want to. I didn't want to like kind of go down on school. And be like, yeah, man, I, I'm I'm out of school. Like, school isn't for me. I hate school. And then influence someone to make a decision that I feel like they weren't ready to make. And maybe they're not in the same position as myself, so they make a decision that like just kind of mirror. They only make the decision because it mirrors my decision, and they feel like it's right for them as well. Um, I just didn't want to be that type of influence, but you know, I feel like I've gotten this question a lot and it's a genuine, it's a genuine curiosity. Like people are really actually wondering what I'm doing with my life outside of fitness and stuff like that. So I think it's something that needs to be talked about and I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it. So like I said, around this time last year, I made a decision that I was going to put a hold on my college education. Now I'm going to give you guys a little background information about my college career. So initially, my first two years, I was at Texas Tech, that's up in Lubbock, Texas, up towards the northern region of Texas, and I was there for two years. I was studying exercise, sports, science, and basically what that means is like, I was just studying fitness. I was studying like, you know, the general terms of uh, sports physiology, uh, physiology and stuff like that, and the main goal was to become a physical trainer and uh, one day own my own gym. After the two years and like I walked on to Texas Tech, the football team, I decided not to play football anymore. I was like, what's the point of being up here so far away from home? I want to go back to my city of Houston, Texas. So I transferred over to the University of Houston and I started pursuing social media fitness and trying to uh, put my name out there so I could become uh, like a celebrity trainer or just like a, a trainer that has their own facility. So. In this process, I became an athlete, athlete. My social media started growing a little bit more, and I was getting opportunities that I feel like most trainers that are coming out with a college degree were looking for. So basically what I'm saying is that what I was going to college for, I was getting the opportunities in the middle of my college career. Now, this is where I had to start thinking about why I was in college and, uh, you know, Am I wasting my time? Am I wasting money? Because let's look at it like realistically. College costs like a lot of money. It costs money to go uh, enroll in class and be in there every single semester. And I was making, at this point, I was making pretty decent money through YouTube, um, through like the sponsorships that I was getting. Also, just like little coaching here and there on the side. And I was like, man, you know, I want to put my full effort into my social media and see what could, where this could take me. I felt that school was always going to be there. I, I knew that if I want to go back, I'm going to have that opportunity. But I was, I feel like I was, I have a window with the social media thing. And I wanted to capitalize on that as much as I could. And I mean, this is already feeding into what I want to do. Once again, guys, I was going to school for this. I was going to school to be a personal trainer. I was going to school to be um, someone that had some type of influence when it came to fitness. I wanted to influence people to work out. And like, I just, once again, I feel like people that graduate with my degree are looking for opportunities I was getting at the moment. Like I was being, I had, I have the ability now to go to these companies through my social media following now. And I can say like, Hey, like let's work together. Let's do something. And I can meet these guys. And like, once again, guys, I was going to school for this. So I made a decision based on I wanted to gain experience versus education. I was in these, I feel like I was getting the opportunities once again that I would want to get if I had graduated, but I was getting it now. So I went to my parents, I told them what I was thinking about. Initially, they 
they, you know, I'm Nigerian, so initially they disagreed. They weren't with it at all. They're act like they're fighting it a lot. But I laid down the foundation. I showed them my ideas. I showed them that I was actually able to sustain myself with the money I was making through social media, and they agreed. So I just want to kind of like stress the fact that this decision, this decision was unique for me, and it was unique for my situation. Once again, um, you know, my my area of business now and the area in which I operate in is social media fitness and fitness in, fitness in general. And I consider myself a fitness entrepreneur at this point. So that's what I was going to school for. I was getting the opportunities that I wanted at the time that I feel like I would have wanted when I graduated. So I wanted to capitalize on those opportunities. I decided to put my school on hold. I hate saying that I'm a college dropout because I don't think I'm a dropout. When I say when I when I hear a college dropout, I've, I've used someone that has completely given up on going to school. I have not completely given up on school. Like I, I'm still on the fence about even you know picking up a, cl- a couple classes here and there to make sure I do get that degree, just for the fact that it, it does mean something. Um, it's something nice to kind of you know just have for the family and tell my parents that yes, I'm a college uh, I'm a college educated individual and I was able to stick through and get my degree, but. Uh, yeah, that's just something I wanted to share with you guys. It It's like very, I'm not going to say it's awkward, but it's something that I've been hiding for the fact that like, I don't want to wrongly influence other people to make the, sign, the same decision I did if they are not prepared for the stuff that comes after that. And I'm not saying that I completely closed the door on my college education. I'm just saying that right now I'm trying to capitalize on what I have going right now for myself. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe I will go back to college later in the future. But I just wanted to make this, instead of like answering Q&As and a bunch of random questions, I just wanted to get to a question that I feel like was asked a lot. So, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to be kind of real with you guys for a second and like just show you guys what was going through my mind pro- or my mind process whenever I was making this decision to kind of put my college career on hold. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get better today. I'm out. Yell again, lost, turn trill again, need a venom man, wait a man, better get a riddle in for my adrenaline. If I'm up in my feelings, better.